Another round of protests will take place here in Omaha. It comes on the heels of a victory for the developer behind the Dakota Access Pipeline. The demonstration will take place right outside the Army Corps of Engineers office, and that's where we find KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore with the story. Shante, good morning. Matt, Emily, good morning to both of you. Energy Transfer Partners is pushing forward to finish DAPL, but protesters around the country and right here in Omaha are pushing right back. Later this afternoon, both Nebraska and the Winnebago tribe will gather outside the core office. The video you're watching is a similar protest held last summer. Now, the group plans to deliver 10,000 citizen comments opposing the construction of the 1,200-mile oil line from North Dakota to Illinois. For months, loud and angry demonstrations by the Standing Rock Sioux tribe and allies successfully brought the project to a halt, but the Corps granted the necessary easement to move forward, and now DAPL will work on a crossing under the Missouri River in North Dakota. The developers say it will take about three months to finish the river crossing, and the founder of Bull Nebraska claims the White House closed the comment line for people to voice their opposition to DAPL, so today at 2 p.m. they plan to make their voices known right outside the Corps office in downtown Omaha. Live, Shante Passmore. KMTV Action 3 News this morning.